Stop Thief See again the terrible, unshaven, battered, young old face of the red-eyed man at the back of the A&P, the fellow in the soiled, full-length overcoat, one gray winter afternoon when the child is just five. Furtive at the cooler case, the man looks at the boy conspiratorially, then bends to conceal, under broad, smudgy lapels, a carton of eggs. Sidles past a checker, who may not wish to see, sails unsteady through the exit door, blends into a gray, busy Brooklyn street. From behind him, the shrill, indignant voice of the small boy assaults his cringing ears, the clear consternation of a child for whom the absolutist commandment, Thou shalt not steal, has suddenly become real. A moral dilemma encountered for the first time as the boy's mother, breathless, hesitates near the counter, does not tell anyone in that instant in which scales waver between the hard code of Yahweh made manifest in merciless civil law and a poor man, a pair of trembling, thieving hands, all the quivering that betrays obvious, terrible need.